Horse butt. Butts. Horse butts. Horse butt. Horse butts? Horse butt. <laughs> you want to learn about some horse butts? Hi everyone, it's Phil here from Ashton Leather. And today I've got a brand new batch of private stock wallets. We're going to be featuring some brand new horse butt strips. And I wanted to show you what the horse butt is, what the horse strip is, and where the shell cordovan lays in the skin. Okay, on the table here, you can see on the top, this big long mustache shaped object that's actually the horse butt strip and you can see below we've got these two oval shapes and those are the pieces of shell and what the tannery does is they'll tan this whole entire piece instead of separating into three these are all combined and they'll tan that all in one shot and then they search for the shells inside of the skin and that's what you see on the bottom here the leftover section on the top this is what they call the horse butt strip and today we've got some incredible wallets made in this special leather. All right, let's take a look at these private stock items. Everything you're about to see in the video today will be going live on the website tonight at 7 p.m. Central Time, and today is Monday, April 18th. Hope you had a great Easter weekend. Let's start off here first with an incredible piece. This is color number eight on the horse butt. And these, again, these are actually the horse hide strips, the area found just north of the cordovan. That's also a term you might find in the world. What we love about this is the texture and figuring that the tannery has picked out for us on these strips. We had these specially made and finished the exact same way that the shell cordovan is finished. The big difference is the, the texture. So we get this sort of epic texture of the horsehide strips that are really beautiful, this sort of whiskery figuring. And on the color right here, this is one of my favorite colors that we did on the strips. Got several different colors to show you today. Here's a look at the inside. This is number one of one for the color eight. And here's number two. And this one has a slight difference in the texture, which is why I'm separating them out one, you'd be able to see exactly uh, what you might might get if you order one of these. So you'll be able to choose from each of these wallets specifically. Here's a look at the inside of this one. You might notice they're all, or a couple of them, have the whole range shell cordovan stamp. These are not shell cordovan, but I think the tannery got a little bit carried away when they were measuring these wallets. They started stamping everything. And because these were finished the same way as the shell, they just got stamped in the same batch. Check this out, magenta color on the horse, but I almost called it shell cordovan. This magenta here is really, really neat. It's almost got a pink color to it and some angles a little bit more red. And of course that great figuring and texture of the horse butt strip. On the inside here, more of the magenta shell. This is number one. And here is number two, a little bit of extra figuring on the back of number two. Here's a look at the inside. We got a little Horween measuring machine stamp on this one. And we got three more horse butt things to look at. This one here is a really interesting color. This is the amaretto and it's sort of turned out a little bit more orange and tan. Of course, we got that great figuring on the outside here. And here's a look at the inside. This is incredible looking, these sort of tiger stripes. And here's another one. This is the denim blue. Check that color out. It's really dramatic. Some angles are a little bit more navy and dark and other angles you get a little bit more of this aqua that you might be able to see sort of down the spine of the wallet. Here's a look at the inside of this one. And this one has incredible die marks down the center and a horrine measuring machine stamp. Something that I should mention about all of the horse butt wallets is these are much more significant and substantial in temper compared to most everything else we do. And that's because these are pit tan veg strips and they're very, very firm. I do expect that temper to sort of naturally mellow out just with normal wear. But when you get this, you'll notice how significant the sort of snap is to it. It's very, very firm. All right, we've got two more horse butt items to look at, and this is a belt, obviously. This is natural horse butt with a gator texture in it. That's very interesting. It's one big, long piece. Every now and then, you find horse butts that are long enough to make a belt, like you see here. They're a little bit more difficult to come by, so this is probably not something we're able to do again. Again, natural horse butt with a gator texture on the outside. On the liner of this one, this is actually a leather called Mustang from Horween, and a great little color range to it. It's almost like a tumbled look. And this brown Mustang is horsehide leather, and it's kind of similar to the Dublin. I do have two of these with the Mustang liners, and those are both size 36. We do have a size 34, 36, and 38 of this one here. Same leather on the outside, natural horse butt 
with the gator texture. Very, very different, very interesting, and I really like it. And the liner on this one is a special leather. This is natural latigo, so not a horse here on the liner. And again, I do have these belts in one of each, size 34, 36, and 38. Let's take a look at some more wallets here. Check this guy out. Tall Herbie with a Western texture on cigar shell cordovan. And it's really great to see a large pattern piece like the exterior of the tall Herbie with this Western texture. Really like the large context that you get to see with the prints like this. Really great look. On the inside of this one, this is really special. More of the Western cigar shell cordovan and we have teal hidden card slots underneath. Here's another Herbie with a Western texture. This is natural shell cordovan with the Western texture. And this is our traditional style of Herbie with the exterior bill slot and thumb notch on the back. On the inside of this one, we've got these really neat drip marks on the reverse side of black shell cordovan. And here's one of my favorites from the batch. It's almost a bit like the Ukraine flag. This is Western raw denim shell cordovan. I don't think we've ever done this before. And I really like the look of this. You can see it's a little bit more of a matte finish when you compare it to the traditional shell cordovan, that's what the raw shell cordovan does. It doesn't have that final glazing and polishing on the end. And instead they impressed this Western texture into it. And again, tall Herbie here with an extra large context makes it really, really special. Here's a look at the inside. Check this out. We have the Ukraine sort of vibe. We, I don't think we're intentionally doing that. We just thought this looked great together. So we've got Western denim blue on top of some yellow horsehide hidden card slots. Another fat Herbie here. This is whiskey shell cordovan with a gator texture. And some angles that whiskey shell is much more brown like you see at this angle. And as I tilted and angle it, more of these yellowy sort of golden colors come out. So it's got a really dramatic color range to it. On the inside of this one, we have more of the gator whiskey shell cordovan on the right and reverse gator on the left. So you see the back side of the pattern here on the left with the Horin measuring machine stamp. And you also see that sort of inverted texture down the center. Here's another tall Herbie in one of my favorite leathers, Chromexcel leather. And this leather on the outside, this is a color called brown. We don't really do much brown Chromexcel anymore except for on our belts. So it's fun to see it in a wallet again. So tall Herbie here with that exterior bill slot that extends all the way to the top. And on the inside, we've got natural chrome excel with natural chrome excel hidden card slots here's another natural color and technically this is also chrome excel but this is a variation on the chrome excel called m's chrome excel and the m stands for mechanical so this is a leather that was used in motor gaskets and seals that's why they call it m's chrome excel slightly different it's a little bit more waxy it's a little bit more firm and dense when you compare it to the standard Chrome XL. And it's also much more grainy. So if you look closely here, you can see a little bit more character, a little bit more texture in the M's Chrome XL. And this is a horse hide. So you get extra character on horse hides. The steer hides tend to be a little bit more consistent and clean, where the horse hides have a little bit more variation. It makes it a little bit more unique. Now let's keep it rolling here. We've got a Johnny the Fox here. Check this out. We were talking about the raw denim with the Western a second ago. This is the traditional shell cordovan that's been polished bright and shiny, but with the Western texture on it. So we've got Western denim blue shell cordovan with a cream stitching on the outside of this one. And on the inside, we've got more of the same. It's a really clean look here. I don't think we've done a Johnny the Fox in this exact combination. We also have blue hand stained edges on this wallet. Here's another Johnny the Fox, and this one is the sleeper. It's one of my favorites from the batch that we're gonna look at today. This is epic black shell cordovan. So we can sort of get these like ripple wave watermarks almost. It's, it's not from water, but it's like this natural texture in the leather that we call the epic texture. And this time we have it on black. We don't see this very often. And I think that's really, really, really cool. Here's a look at the inside where we have more black shell cordovan. All the edges on this wallet are also hand stained black. Up next, we've got another private stock Johnny the Fox in one of my favorite colors here. This is the denim blue shell cordovan. It has an incredible dramatic color range to it. So some angles a little bit more navy, other angles it has this more aqua color to it, which is very, very nice. Take a look at the inside and this is tough, tough, tough to get. These thin pieces of shell cordovan for the inside of the Johnny the Fox are very rare and they're challenging for us to come by. So every time we get one and we're able to make a Johnny the Fox out of it, it's a really special day. And we have a couple more of those really special Johnny the Foxes with shell interiors. This is my favorite shell cordovan color, Amaretto shell cordovan. And check out the color range of this guy. A little bit more brown, a little bit more red at this angle. And as I tilt it, a little bit more yellow and orange. It's 
very, very, very beautiful. I love Amaretto Shell Cordovan. And the inside here is something I do not get to see very often. All the Amaretto Shell Cordovan for the inside of this Johnny the Fox. Another Johnny the Fox here in 100% Shell Cordovan. This one is color number four Shell Cordovan, which is my second favorite shell color. And for many years, this was my favorite shell color. Color four, slightly less dark and slightly less red than the color eight shell cordovan. It's more of like a medium brown with reddish undertones. And the color four on the inside again, very rare to see this. I think we've only seen maybe five of these in our history. And one more to look at, garnet shell cordovan this time. 100% garnet shell cordovan. And this is the most red color that Horween makes. You can see some angles a little bit darker, almost like the color four at some angles like here, but as I tilt it down, you can really see how much more red it is, and especially on the inside. I think these red tones appear even more dramatically. Take a look here. We've done a few of these Garnet Shell Cordovan Foxes before, but again, they're very tough for us to get. All right, let's keep it rolling. We got a lot more to get to. This is a really special Capone Money Clip with Garnet Shell Cordovan on top of Western Black Shell Cordovan. And that's a really great combination. We actually did a YouTube video maybe a year ago making a very similar wallet to this. You might want to check that out. On the inside, we've got Western Garnet this time. So sort of the inverse of the outside of the wallet. And we also have a black spring bar clip for the inside of this Capone. Here's a special Vic Snap Wallet, again in that M's Chrome Excel. Take a look at this one. We've got an additional card slot on the back. This was a design that we made to accommodate coins, but we also modified this. We called it a coin pouch for a bit. We modified it to hold cards on the inside. So this is great for cards on the inside or coins on the inside. You could fit folded cash. And on the outside of this one, we made it a little bit extra special with an exterior card slot. Here's a fun prototype. This is a knife sheath that we made in reverse black shell cordovan. I have the uh, dimensions of this one listed on the site, but a lot of pocket knives will fit into this. Again, a prototype we did, I think we made a couple special made to order items just like this for other people, decided to include one in today's private stock event. And again, you can find all these private stock items on our website, ashlandleather.com. At 7 p.m. tonight, that's when I'm going to make all these product pages active on the site. I want to give you a little preview here first before everything goes live because they tend to go quickly. So I want you to have a good, a good look at everything before they go up so you can sort of eye the one that's right for you. So speaking of the right one for you, this one is really, really neat. This is a vertical Bugs Moran in Cobalt Blue Dublin, an item we don't do very often. And there's a slight twist on this one. These middle card slots in the center here, these are black Chrome Excel, so a fun black and blue combo. Here's another combo Bugs Moran. And this one is also vertical. So check this out. We've got Whiskey Gator Shell Cordovan on the outside. A little bit more red and orange in this piece of whiskey. It's very, very neat. On the inside of this one, we've got Denim Blue Gator Shell Cordovan. We've got a lot of textures in the video today. Check this out. Gator Shell Cordovan again in the garnet color. Really nice look on this particular Bugs Moran. I forgot to mention, we've got some hand stated edges for these vertical bugs. And on the inside of the vertical Bugs Moran here, we've got two card slots on the left, two on the right, and then there are hidden card slots underneath each of those. Here's another vertical bug. Check this out, Amaretto Gator. I love the Amaretto Show Cordovan. Really nice orangey tan shade. Got some nice hand stained edges on this one. And on the inside, more of that Amaretto Gator with a baby Ashland stamp. And I really, really like this one. This is marbled ultraviolet shell cordovan with a ridge texture. This is not something, I don't think I've ever seen this before. It's not something we see very often. And I love the color range in the marbled ultraviolet. So sort of pinkish um, ultraviolet on this top right corner, a little bit more purple. And then it fades to a little bit more orange and yellow on the bottom left there. And then we've accented that with a yellow stitching on the outside, as well as yellow horse hide on the interior. That's a really special bugs. And speaking of special, I love this shell. This is psychedelic shell cordovan. It's a little bit more magenta, pink and purple. A little bit of green and brown on this, on this side here. Take a look at the inside though. I love the way that these shells look. More of that marbled ultraviolet shell cordovan with the color range again from purple to sort of pink down to orangey yellow tan. Okay, here's another fun prototype. This is a prototype that my business partner Dan came up with to carry his passport. This was to his liking. So the passport, he noticed when you go through customs, 
they ask you to pull it out and hand it to them. You can't really hand them your whole passport holder. So he made this more of like a slip so you can just take it out and hand it to the person and put it back inside. There's credit card slots all over the place on here and larger document sections on the bottom. So this top one here, you can get a credit card, it sort of locks into place right there. And then we've got a large document holder on the back as well. This one's also made in reverse ultraviolet shell cordovan for these bottom two pieces and then ultraviolet shell cordovan for the top. Here's our brand new Gus card case in the violet shell cordovan. And I really enjoyed wearing this wallet uh, for about four months. I found it terribly nice to use. <laughs> Very nice for a front pocket wallet. And it's also really good for carrying business cards. So these card slots on the inside, there's two large card slots and they're extra wide to accommodate those wider business cards. And then the flap closure, this is where it, I think it all comes together. This leather will mold and form around anything you put inside. So this, you don't have any bands or anything to tuck this into. It's just very easy to use. Here's another great wallet in a leather and color that we don't see very often. Kia Shell Cordovan on the bottom of this Frank D Enforcer. And we've got Violet Shell Cordovan on the top. This one also has a nice steel gray thread around the edges. In the back, we've got the same thing. Kia Shell Cordovan on the bottom and Violet on the top. Up next is another great Western texture on Emerald Green Shell Cordovan. This is the tall Tony the Ant in Emerald Green Shell Cordovan. We've got hand-stained green edges on this guy, which turned out really well. On the inside of this one, we've got Emerald Green Shell Cordovan. This is the smooth version of the Cordovan. And usually we flip this middle piece around so you get to see shell on the inside, but this time we decided to flip it backwards to show the Horween ink stamp. Here's another great epic texture. This is Epic Natural Shell Cordovan on this Fat Herbie. And Natural Shell Cordovan, if you're looking for patina, this is the one I will suggest to you. The regular natural shell, as well as the raw natural shell. It gives you the most dramatic range to develop a patina on because the color starts so light. It gets a little bit more golden brown and darker just with normal use. Here's a look at the inside, more of that epic natural shell cordovan. Here's another fat Herbie in a perfect shell. This garnet shell cordovan on the bottom here is perfectly smooth, bright, and shiny. That's exactly what you want in a piece of shell cordovan. And Horween does a nice job. Most shells are pretty consistent, but every now and then you get one that's extra special, and that's what this garnet shell is. On the middle here, this is violet shell cordovan, that darker purple color. It's a more recent color edition from Horween. And on the interior of this one, we also have more garnet shell cordovan with the baby Ashland stamp on the right. All right, take a look at these Johnny the Foxes. You can see I've two different pieces of paper in here. So the first one here, this is number one of two, and this is psychedelic shell cordovan on the Johnny the Fox. And all the psychedelic is very random and very unique. So that's why we're labeling, labeling each of them a little bit differently. So number one here, really great color range. You got some greens, you got some purples, you got some red, and all those colors in between. It's a really cool color spectrum on this one. Take a look at the inside. We sort of accented those color spectrums with all these interior card holders. So we've got violet, ultraviolet, emerald green, and then reverse natural on the top. And then we have purple stitching all the, all the way around the border. And here is number two of two. A little bit more dramatic on the exterior of this one. More purple, green on the left, a little bit more orange, yellow, purple on the right, and we've got the same combination on the inside. And I've got a few passport holders to show you. This is the reverse side of inverted blue shell cordovan with a great Horween ink stamp on the outside. So we get all these interesting die marks and all the random color range. I really like the way that this one turned out. On the inside of this, more of the same here with great color uh, die marks, drip marks, and all the color range in between. Here's another passport holder in reverse black shell cordovan. And this piece of reverse black is a little bit more olive than most that we see. Sometimes it gets a little bit darker, a little bit more of a forest green. One more passport holder here. This is the last of the color number eight Chrome XL. I no longer have any more of this leather. And it's pretty sad because it's a really nice color. I'm not sure if we'll be able to get this again from Horween anytime soon. Here's a fun wallet that we've only released uh, as a small limited thing. This is our JR Fold wallet. This wallet was designed by Arnold Horween Jr. He actually hand cut one like this for himself back in the 60s or 70s. I'm not sure of when that happened, but this is a wallet that he carried around for himself. So what you can do here is this little flap will keep your dollar bills held inside as well as some credit cards. And it just sort of molds around itself. So you get this really minimalist. In fact, this is the most minimalist design that you could come about. And again, we call this the JR Fold Wallet in the Gator Texture on Black Shell Cordovan. Here's another Fat Herbie in English Tan Dublin. Check out this color. 
really nice orangey tan shade on English Hand Dublin. This is our most popular leather and color right now. On the inside, we made this one with two Horween measuring machine stamps. Thought it'd make a nice little private stock fat Herbie. Here's another fun Herbie with some more yellow thread. We haven't done much yellow thread and I think it's turning out really well. So we've got raw ultraviolet shell cordovan on top of inverted ultraviolet shell cordovan on the top. In fact, I think this is actually inverted violet shell, which is a little bit more purple, a little bit less magenta. On the inside here, more inverted violet shell cordovan with these random drip marks. It's a really great look. Here's another great combo on a fat Herbie. We got marbled denim blue shell cordovan on the exterior. And that marble denim blue ranges from the blue to a little bit of green down to a little bit of orange and all these colors in between. Um, we've got it on top of some ultraviolet shell cordovan for the middle piece there. On the inside of this, we also have ultraviolet shell cordovan. And we've got some more Tony the Ants. Check this out. <laughs> we've got green Dublin on top of English tan Dublin with the green stitching all along the outside. Here's a look at the inside. We've done the same thing here with English Tan Dublin on top of Green Dublin. Another English Tan Dublin piece here on the Tony the Ants, a little bit smaller version than the Fat Herbie. So let's compare these two for a second. The Fat Herbie is about the size of a passport. It's just very slightly larger than the passport, where the Tony the Ant is a little bit larger than the size of a deck of cards. On the left interior of this one, we've got reverse English Tan Dublin with this Horween USA measuring machine stamp just for this one pattern piece. Another great Tony the Ant here, marbled black shell cordovan on top of some dark green shell cordovan. We've got some green stitching. And on the inside of this one, more marbled black shell cordovan. Here's another fan favorite color. This is cigar shell cordovan. Pretty similar to the color eight shell cordovan, but there's less red, less burgundy, and less oxblood to it. It's more of a straight up brown shade. Here's a look at the inside. We've got reverse cigar shell cordovan. Here's another Tony in cigar shell cordovan, but this time it's just straight up cigar on the outside and then straight up cigar on the inside with a great Horween ink stamp in the center. And this is our modified version of the Tony the Ant. We call this the tall Tony the ant this one is in a great piece of english tan dublin extra amount of character on the exterior of this wallet here's a look at the inside we've got more english tan dublin and i think this is our third prototype of the day check this one out this is made from our brand new calf leather that i don't think we're ever going to be able to get again in fact i think this is about the last of it so we've got black calf on top of some red calf on the outside i think this is actually the 1940s calf this black calf here is more recent from Horween. We've also been seeing some of the russet color of this. So not to confuse you, this is the 1940s calf in the center with a more recent black calf on the outside. And all that calf is really great. But let's go over the wallet here. So we're calling this the Capone Fox. It's actually the pattern pieces for our Capone money clip, but we design it more as like a traditional bill fold. So you can see on the outside here, I added a little $2 bill inside of this one to show you how it works. So we just slide in your dollars. But this design here is actually envisioned by Skip Horween, which is why we have this sort of Skip style bill slot. It opens up on one side, this other side here on, on this is also a little bit open, but not as much as on this side here. Just allows a little bit easier access to cash on the inside of this. And then of course, just like the Capone, we've got four card slots, two on the inside and two on the outside. We're really curious to see what you guys think of this new prototype. A couple more Johnny the Foxes here to show you. Some of my favorites that we've ever seen. In fact, this might be my favorite Johnny the Fox that I've ever seen. Inverted ultraviolet shell cordovan here on the outside as well as inverted ultraviolet on the inside. And that is really rare to get. I don't think we're ever going to see another Johnny the Fox with that is 100% inverted ultraviolet. And I believe this is the last John of the Fox of the day, the raw denim shell cordovan on the outside here. Great for patina. This will get a nice bright shiny polish just with normal use. And on the inside of this, this is actually inverted denim. It looks really flat and even. It's a very flat and even area of the skin that we cut it from. So if you look really closely, you can see it, it gets a little bit green, a little bit more aqua blue at some angles, but this is actually the reverse side of blue shell cordovan. All right, we still have some more stuff to look at. This is a Frank the Enforcer, an epic natural shell cordovan. Check out that texture on the front. And we've got that same texture on the back, a really beautiful Frank here. Here's another Frank the Enforcer in natural Latigo leather. It's one of my favorite leathers. I really like the Latigo and how it wears in. It's combination tan leather with a great amount of veg retanned into it. Here's another Frank to look at. We've got ultraviolet shell cordovan on top of some marbled blue shell cordovan for the top two pieces. We've got the same look on the back. Up next is a Bugs Moran in a beautiful piece of color number four shell cordovan, a little bit more red on this particular piece of color four. 
door. We also have color number four shell on the inside. And we have a few more components to look at. Reverse color eight shell cordovan on top of some color eight shell cordovan in the center. And then we've got the Horween ink stamp on the exterior left. And on the inside of this one, we've got reverse color eight shell cordovan with great random die marks and an antique brass clip. Here's another really cool Capone money clip. We've got ultraviolet shell cordovan on top of some marbled blue shell cordovan in the center. That's really neat in this piece of marbled blue with the orange and tan on the top, a little bit more blue and green on the bottom. That's a really neat look. Here's a look at the inside, more ultraviolet shell cordovan. You can see the reverse side of that marble blue in the center. And you can see the reverse side of the marble blue in the center. One more Capone money clip to look at. This is psychedelic shell cordovan, a little bit more subtle on this particular piece of psychedelic shell. A little bit more brown, tan, yellow on the top. And there's little bits of purple on the bottom, that sort of violet color and this stripe that sort of continues all the way through the piece, I think looks really nice. On the inside of this one, we've got more psychedelic shell cordovan. This is a little bit dark, so I'll have to sort of spin the angle around here. You can see this piece a little bit more golden, a little bit magenta in the top left corner, a little bit of violet down the bottom of this piece. And we've got the same look on the right side here. Take a look at that. It's really hard for me to show the color range of the psychedelic shell because that shell is very bright and shiny. But this does have a nice range of color from violet to green to yellow and red. Now here's a wallet that we don't do very often. This is sort of a wallet that put us on the map several years ago. It's an asymmetrical minimalist wallet that we were calling the Louis Little New York. So this one has three pattern pieces, one of which is thinned down and folded over the edge and we stitch it down. So you get this sort of folded over spine on one side with a normal waxed and burnished edge on the other side. This wall is really great for a minimalist that wants to carry cards on one side and folded cash on the other side. This particular Louis is made in dip dyed whiskey shell cordovan. Here's another Louis in that really special cigar shell cordovan, more of a true dark brown shade as opposed to the color eight. You won't see any of those burgundy tones in this one. And here's a fun piece, that Kia shell cordovan. It's a little bit more of a pale green. I kind of think Horween should do more of this. In fact, I've been getting a lot of people asking for more Kia shell cordovan. Really great color here. And it reminds me of the reverse side of black shell cordovan, where we get that sort of bronzed green color, almost like an aged green. And we were calling this verdigris for a bit, but I think Kia is a good color name as well. Another Louis Little New York, also in my favorite shell cordovan color, but this is the dip dyed amaretto. It's a little bit more intense a little bit more of a full color when they dip dye it. But you can see it still has that same color range, a little bit of reddish brown at some angles, more orangey tan at others. But the big difference for the dip dyed stuff is you get to see on the reverse side of it, it's more of a straight up orange color. Up next, we have a Bugs Moran, also in cigar shell cordovan for the outside. And on the inside, we've got some reverse cigar shell cordovan. And the last wallet of the day, check this out, inverted blue shell cordovan. We get these random die marks all over the place. And the color ranges from that more aqua blue shade, a little bit of green, down to an orangey sort of yellowy color and all those colors in between. This is very, very cool. I love the inverted blue. And the reverse side of this and the center here is also blue. So we paired that with some raw denim on top of some marbled blue and the center card slots here, just to pair it off nicely, make it a full blue everything wallet. So thanks for checking out everything in the video today. Again, these wallets, including this one here may be my favorite Johnny the Fox of all time. Everything's going to be available tonight at 7 p.m. Central Time on our website, ashlandleather.com. If you have any questions between now and then, definitely leave a comment. I'll be checking out comments through the rest of the day. And until next time, hope you guys have a good one.